Hello, welcome to Scott Bryant's Fitness Systems and I just want to prove a point about uh, global packaging warming. Okay, so I've just went, been to my local Lidl's just to buy some bits and pieces. Let's see how many bits and pieces I buy are in a packet, a plastic packet. So the first thing that you don't eat is uh, things to wipe things down with, disposable, in a packet. Then we've got some, uh, what do they call these, uh, flat peaches in a packet. Then we've got some avocados in a packet. Then we've got some salmon fillets in a packet. Then we've got more avocados in a packet. Then I've got, oh, I like a little bit of a tree, and a little bit of a tree is <coughs> shortbread in a packet. Oh, then we've got, uh, these are really good for the brain, blueberries in a packet. Surprise, surprise. Then we've got, what else have we got here? Oh, we've got some gluten-free sausages in a packet. Then we've got, can't show you that, you'll never go at me. Some more fish in a packet. What else we got here? Oh, some different type of fish in a plastic packet. Uh, then we've got some, oh this is good, some Greek olive oil that's not in a packet. And then we've got some cucumber that's not in a packet. And then we've got some eggs that's in a plastic box. So if global warming was such a big issue that they have to put the price of flights up and they keep talking about global warming, surely the first thing they would do is stop all this packaging on everything. Now if, I, if you go back to watching material from the 50s and the 40s and the 30s, everything come in a paper bag. So paper bag will burn like wood and it comes from wood in the end, doesn't it? It comes from trees. So it's biodegradable. But is this plastic that that fish is in, which I don't really like, but because they've got rid of the local fishmongers, you can't go to the local fishmongers because there ain't none anymore. You can't go to the local greengrocers because there isn't none anymore. Does that make sense? But obviously uh, these, I normally shop in Sainsbury's. And Sainsbury's, they're still in a packet, so there's no getting away from it. Wherever you go to shop for food, it's all in packets. So really, I believe that global warming is nonsense, okay? Because in the 1800s, the Thames froze over. They was playing ice hockey and doing ice skating on the Thames. Now... We have never been able to uh, ice skate on the Thames since I've been alive. That's more than 50 years. But I can remember when I was about, I think I was about six or seven, and we had this major, major heat wave. And we've been having them heat waves the last couple of years, but not this year so far. It's been, you know, 25, 30, uh, 25. It's not been in the 30s and 40s like last year. So that just goes to, sh that just shows you that the, uh, the planet is constantly evolving, the same as human beings. Even though the human being hasn't changed in 200,000 years, you've now got the millennials that don't drink as much, that don't uh, damage their bodies as much as what my mum's generation or dad's generation did, you know? So it's something to think about. Why are they not tackling this? Why are they not tackling Amazon that wraps everything in cardboard? And, you know, I know it's probably biodegradable cardboard because it's brown, but it's still everything comes in cardboard. My bin is normally filled up, not with uh, vegetable produce, you know, leftover ends of cucumbers and peeling carrots and, and uh, apples. It's normally the residue of all this plastic packaging. So look at this. Look, this is in plastic. When I was in San Diego, California, they had... Uh, designated water shops that you could go to and fill up a big like five litre bottle of uh, water so then that way you didn't run out of water and you knew the water was clean so we're so far behind 
It's unbelievable. So I believe that once we get rid of all this packaging, they said an average nappy will last 50 years in the ground. So why don't they make mums and dads go back to doing what my mum might have done, which was boil up the uh, the nappy, what they're uh, wrapping me in, and kept, you know, cleaning it and washing it instead of having disposable nappies. So really, the government has a lot more to think about than just hoiking up taxes, saying we need to drive electric cars, when electric cars, they have an electric battery, who knows how long it is before they biodegrade and break down. Uh, I've got an Apple Mac, but they're saying that that's biodegradable and they can take everything out of it and break it all down, which is great. And I've got a biodegradable TV, which is called Hyacinth. Hyacinth is a, is a, is a name. It says it's massively uh, energy friendly and all that type of stuff. So I try to do everything as much as I possibly can to keep uh, the planet alive. You know, we, we had the issue with the ozone layer and now the, now the ozone layer has healed itself. So this would be the same with the plastic. You start moaning about the plastic and say, get rid of the plastic. They'll think of some excuse why they don't need to get rid of it. I can remember you bought sea bass fish and it would never be in plastic. It'd be in a bag, be in a, a paper bag or wrapped in paper and you take it home. Uh, but because of the fishmonger's gone, the grocers has gone, there's very limited butchers now. You know, one... It's killing business, like independent businesses, which is which I don't agree with, obviously, because I run my independent business as well. So you've got independent businesses on their way out. And the places where we used to love go shopping, there was a local greengrocers. I knew the guy by the first name. I'd go in there, pick a load of fruit, and he'd obviously have other stuff for sours, like coconuts and all that type of stuff. It's completely gone there. It's offices now. So really... My gripe is, I don't believe in global warming. It's all about yin and yang of the planet and the planet constantly changing. Uh, yes, there's been wildfires everywhere, but there's always been wildfires. There's always been mass floods. It's not nothing new. So if you agree with me, comment down below. If you don't agree with me, then uh, give me a thumbs down. But if you do agree with me, give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much for listening to me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, at one time, they were saying that the plastic leaks into the food. I can remember this when I was in my 20s. So that's over 30 years ago. And they said that when I was a chef, we had to chop on different coloured chopping boards and to stop using plastic to wrap food in. Now everything's wrapped in plastic. So what has changed? Has the, has the ingredient or chemical that they're using in the plastic changed so it doesn't harm the food as much? I'm sure later on, I know that uh, drinking out of plastic water bottles, uh, you can get the enoestrogens going inside your body. But what I do, I transfer that into a glass, uh, a, gl a pint glass, and I drink out of a glass bottle, and I've got a home filtration system as well. This is just when I'm running around everywhere and I just need to get some pure water inside my body. Uh, another thing about water, if you are constantly urinating on water, Add some organic sea salt to it and you'll find that you won't do that anymore. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, please share. And uh, I've got some uh, Bulgarian bag videos coming soon. Your way. Thank you. Bye-bye.